Well, in January, you, uh, you, you signed the famous uh, Americans for Tax Reform Taxpayer Protection Pledge. Yes. I think you were the first mayoral candidate to do so. I have that scribbled down. I, I'm not sure if that's... Well, I, I was the only one in the primary process and, I, and the only okay. one in this race that has done it. We have not found evidence of other municipal candidates doing it. Okay. Uh, and they don't publish that on their website, but there might be somebody else in, I don't know, South Dakota that okay. signed it. But I can't, I can't answer that exhaustively. <laughs> All right, well, I know for here, for Indiana, I'm the only one. Uh, well, you know, I, I mean, everyone loves the idea of no, no taxes or no raising right. taxes, but um, I... Uh, times are tight now. I mean, what, what, why, why did you think it was a good idea to, to do this? I mean, well, can we afford to think about, you know, can you afford to, to put yourself in, in, in that kind of position? Absolutely. I did it deliberately. Uh -huh. And I, there were a couple of reasons. One, um, I want two points I wanted to make. Um, Tom Henry, his first week in office four years ago, asked for a tax increase of $3.7 million. I, I'm appalled by that. He, he never should have done that. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to make the point that I will not be doing that. I'm not going to come into office and ask for a tax increase. Uh, and, and two, I don't think the problem with the city of Fort Wayne is that we don't have enough revenues. I think that we're not spending wisely. I think we're not prioritized in how we approach spending in city government. Okay. And so the problem is not that there's not enough revenue. It's that we're, not, we're just not looking at the expense side of the equation. Okay. Um, and I, I wanted to make that very clearly. And honestly, the, the changes that have happened in the state of Indiana with the way property taxes are collected with the circuit breaker in place. Mm -hmm. For, because of, because Fort Wayne and Allen County, it, everybody in Fort Wayne, almost all of the, the homeowners, their taxes are capped at 1%. They've right. hit that 1% cap. So y you, you, can't, you can't raise, you're already, at the, you're already maxed out. Mm -hmm. You were not going to, the way to grow the economy is to attract new business, is to attract new people, to grow the assessed value mm -hmm. overall. Um, that's very different from a tax increase. Okay. So you, you think that uh, things settled out from uh, property taps caps, caps to the point where we can talk about freezing or lowering taxes? It, actually, the way when you look inside of the budgeting process, there, um, because we have not had um, we have not come together and talked about it as taxing entities. Huh. Um, one of the things I've done, the, the short answer is no. Okay. Um, the, um, the long answer is that there is opportunity in the future for better collaboration between all of the entities that are funded by property taxes in Allen okay. County. Uh, the county auditor for the past three years, and I've, I've uh, moderated uh, a fiscal summit, and we, we've, we've got people started coming together, mm -hmm. but not, there hasn't been as much benefit from that, that as I would like to see. I think because that happened right at the time the circuit breaker was coming in, people were just scrambling to try and figure out how to make the new budget work, mm -hmm. um, the new revenues, the reduced revenues work. Um, when, and I think we're getting to the point where we can start, a, we're, we're at the new normal, and we can start to talk about how we can work together more efficiently. But okay. that, that does not include tax hikes. We're okay. not. That's, that's not what we're in the business to do.